the smell of pastry is already calling my middle name. My bank account is telling me tala 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 tala. See it? I like it. See the price? I put it back. Everything is expensive. London is expensive, you guys. Hey, lovelies, and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a sequel to what I got up to in London when I went to renew my passport. All right, so the OGs have been expecting this video and this is my experience in London as an introvert. I thought I would be able to explore and move around, but sadly, this was my experience. All right, you guys, enjoy the vlog. <laughs> on sightseeing before I find something to eat. I'm trying to get hungry right now. Come on, it's cold though. It's really cold. But let's explore. I don't feel like going home yet. I think the Transvaga Square is, is actually quite close to this place. Let me locate it. Vlogging in this weather is <laughs> very unbearable. Yeah. My hands are freezing, Jesus Christ. And I want to film content. We're well, almost there. There's a market just up above here and you know I'm going to explore. Oh look at this. Pastry is already calling my middle name. <laughs> my bank account is telling me tala 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 tala. My God, there's a chocolate fountain.
Well, they're fifteen pounds, and we personalise them for free. Sweet. What is the UK without sweets? On them, they're really nice. Really nice. That's the thing you guys can get is wet the cherry, right? It's right. Yep. Jazz. Right. Uh, One pound fifty. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. You are orange. Orange, please. Orange. Yeah. An orange? One. <laughs> that one of the orange ones. Try that one later. I'm going to find somewhere to sit and enjoy this. I'm going to find somewhere to sit and enjoy my chocolates. And then we'll continue our exploration, okay? Get someone to take a picture for me here. So yes, I got my picture. I asked some tourists. They didn't even speak any English. <laughs> Which was beautiful, so I took a picture for them and they took a picture for me. Scratch my back, I scratch your back. I want to see if I can eat some of the snacks I brought and then um, try to um, find a cafe or something where I can just chill where it's warm somewhere indoors. Yeah, 
I'll just look at the subway. I want to see if I can order something. I have the super sub stack. That's how this brother was asking me, do you want chicken? Do you want beef? Do you want this one? Do you want that one? Do you want bacon? Do you want... <laughs> and I was just saying, yes, yes, yes. The brother was just packing and piling, packing and piling. I didn't know that all of this was going to be charged, you know, separately until I saw the bill. And that's one of the disadvantages of not eating out because you don't really have the experience of how these things pan out. Eventually, I spent £10 on this subway alone. I mean, just one subway, like one sandwich, and it was £10 plus. Oh, that's how I just split it into two. And it was actually quite thrilling because I could only eat half at a time. So I found a very quiet spot in the corner of the subway um, restaurant or drive through or whatever this is, restaurant, I don't know. And I decided to take some time to enjoy the subway. Um, I kind of stayed here for more than 30 minutes, thereabout. And yeah, that was actually quite good enough for me because it was really cold outside. And I needed somewhere to chill for a while before I continued with my exploration. So you guys, um, while I was here, I was Googling um, things to do in the UK and places to, to go to. And I found a few places that were close enough to where I was at the time. So I made a plan and sort of like a schedule to move around whenever i finished and i was ready to go back out so you see what i'm saying this is the subway i was having and just one of it was big and it was actually quite good so yeah that was that so subway was great i actually enjoyed myself i only had half of it i have to have the other half later but i'm going exploring i have to explore this this, this city before i go back so I've actually googled places to go or things to do in London and I've um, just found um, the National Museum so that's where I'm heading right now okay I'll see you guys when I get there so I noticed here in London that a lot of the women well almost everyone were had a crossbody bag on and I guess it's because of the cold they didn't want their hands to be out hey. dear lord to enter this national museum was not a joke i mean there was nobody to beg that ah please i'm a tourist can i stand in your front no you be humble yourself and assume your position at the very back of the line but the good thing was that this line was moving really quickly so that wasn't so much of a problem but anyways you guys i was as all the while i was on this queue i just kept wondering like i better enjoy myself here it better be worth seeing but then I don't know, you guys, the queue was moving really fast, but that way it was something else. Anyway, you guys, it was finally my turn and I was able to get in. And one of the first things I went for was this floor plan that honestly made no sense to me because painting and art gallery are all new to me and I was trying to make sense of it all. That is the floor plan. We're finally in. This is the National Museum. How people clocking in their the coats? By the grace of God, I'm going in like this. Can't be bothered. <laughs> you guys, after several minutes of walking around this gigantic building aimlessly, I'm wondering what I was looking for and what I was looking at in this particular museum. I eventually located where the art gallery was, and I, while I appreciated the art, and, you know, just being in that space, I got tired very quickly. It's almost like someone blew me powder. I just wanted to go home. Like, I had just wanted to sit down. I was literally tired and exhausted. You guys, I made my way back to the subway. Yeah. I'm tired. It's almost very hot now. And I saw how... <laughs> Back to 
done in Korea. I don't know what to do. I have what Netflix has made from home. I've tried to even do more. I'm back in Subway, but I've had the other half of my sandwich. I don't know what to do. I'm tired. I'm tired of walking around because it's too cold outside. I want this thing to be over very soon. I can get back home, my babies. Guys, I think this is where I'm going to get to hand to draw because I don't even know what activities I'm going to engage you with. <coughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye.